girl. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. This is Dale Bird Songs. It's Encouragement for the Times. The title of this piece is called Hope is Alive. Alrighty, follow along with me as a monologue. Continue in your living room once again. I'm home. Where is this girl's number? Oh, there it is. Hey, girl. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is me, Estelle. But I got your message. I heard you call. Uh huh. Well, you know me. I was at church. <laughs> yeah, girl, I was at church. I was at pool. I was at the pool the other day. I'm at church. All right. I just got back from church. What's up? The message, girl. The message was good. It was on hit. Mm hmm. Well, that's what my kids say on hit. I think that means it was good. <laughs> oh yeah, girl. He was talking about hope and trust, and, and that he would never leave us, nor forsake us, and that he'd be putting your trust in the things of this world. Put your trust in God. Mm hmm. That's the baby I hear in the background. Oh my goodness, he's growing and growing. Mm hmm. Yeah, child. You know, you know, it's like anything. You know, like William. Take for example, me and William, girl. William's been on the road traveling. He's been gone now about three, four weeks. I think he's been gone four. What do you mean? I don't know how long my husband been gone. <laughs> girl, when you've been married twenty-five years, you need a break every once in a while. It's all right. Yeah, I, I love it. But every once in a while, you just need a break. All I can tell you is a good thing. I know how to be submissive. After 25 years of marriage, you better know how to be submissive if you know what I mean. Unlike you. <laughs> Don't you get mad at me. Don't you start letting you know it's true. You know you're not submissive. Last time I was at your house, your husband walking around there in a dress. He didn't know who was the wife. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. I ain't mad at you, girl. That's you. He loves you for that. Tell me how you do that, though. How, how, can, how can I get that done? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm just playing with you. Look, um, girl, anyway, like I was saying, you know, William's been gone, but we had to apply for this loan modification. Well, I just told you times are hard, didn't I? Yeah, girl, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get these bills down. Mm -hmm. They didn't turn me down four times. I ain't going to say the name of the bank on the camera, but they keep turning me down. I'm going to start telling everybody their name. But anyway, yeah, girl, they didn't turn me down four times, and they know, they know that they know better. That's just the spirit of greed. Ain't nothing but greed. But that's okay, because you know I don't give up. So I'm going for it for the fifth time, and you know, the Lord say, you, get, you have not because you ask not. So I'm like, Lord, I think you put this thing through. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on a second, girl. That's another line. Girl, I got to go. That is William on the other line. I will talk to you later, all right? All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, baby. Mm-hmm. Hey, honey. Mm-hmm. Baby, honey, you know I love to call you both them names. I was just talking about you. Well, I was talking about how much I miss you. You know I miss you. Mm-hmm. So when are you coming home? Now, you know you need to stop playing around. When are you coming home? What is, wait, 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 wait a minute, stop it. Stop it, William, that is not funny. Stop it. When are you coming, when are you coming home, William? Don't do this, stop it. Stop. Tell me you're joking, right? you joking. What do you mean you're not coming home? You mean you're not coming home like in the job needs you to stay longer? Or you mean you're not coming home, period? Stop it. You can't do this. 25 years of marriage. 25 years of marriage and you're going to break up with me over the phone? What kind of person does something like that? Tell me you jokey, please. Don't do this, will you? Don't do this. I can't, I can't handle this. You know what? I, you stop it. You just better be glad I'm not the woman you married 25 years ago. I'm going to hang up this phone. And when you come to your senses, you call me. You must be going through some kind of midlife crisis. And I am not receiving that right now. I'm, I, no, 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 I'm not talking to you right now. I'm going to hang up this phone. No, no. You, you, no. Ugh. What? What? I don't understand, God. Now what? Now what? Who's calling now? Hello? Yes, this is she. Well, I know we're behind on the mortgage. Why do you think I'm trying to get a loan modification? Well, I tried five times. You call me back when the loan modification goes through. I don't want to hear from you until you're calling me back with some good news. You understand me? I can't handle this right now. My husband is out. No, 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 no. Never Jesus. I'm getting the loan modification. You call me back later. I'm not dealing with this right now. Lord, what am I supposed to do? I don't understand, God. I've been a good wife. I don't get it, Lord. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to pay the bills? How am I going to pay the mortgage? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> William took care of everything. It was everything, God. What am I supposed to do? Show me something. Give me an answer. Oh, my God.
God, what did I just say? I just said that William was everything. Oh, Lord, I'm so sorry, God, for putting idols before you. You are my everything. I'm so sorry. Forgive me, God. Oh, Lord, just give me a word. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 29. The Bible, Jeremiah 29, 11 says that the thoughts that you have for us are not evil, but of peace so that we would know there is hope in a future. That we would know there is hope in a future. And we search for you with all our heart. We will find you. And you will bring us back by the bonds of captivity. The plans you have for me. What was I thinking, God? What was I thinking? I got so busy, caught up into my life and everything around me. Yeah, I was going to church, but I was worshiping idols. And I just come to you now and I repent. I ask you to forgive me, God. I'm sorry, Lord, for putting things before you. I'm sorry for not taking the time to stop and pray and just spend time with you. Forgive me. I know your word is true. I know I would not return back void. So, God, I just come to you right now and I praise you and I bless you. And I thank you for your words, God. I thank you for who you are because, you see, my hope was never in my husband. My hope was never in a job. My hope was not in this house. My hope is in you and Jesus Christ. Your word says you would never leave me nor forsake you. My word says never forsake me. Your word says you would never leave me nor forsake me. Your word says that you are the same God today as you were yesterday. My word says that your yoke is easy your burden is light. Your word says, Father. Father God, that if you be for us, who, who can be against us? Oh, Lord, I thank you. And whom should we fear? Lord, I look to the hills on whence coming my help. I know you to be the supplier of all my needs. And I will praise you and I will bless you, Daddy. I will bless you in good times and in bad times because I know you're God. And because you're God, Daddy. My hope was never in the things of this world. My hope was never in my husband, William. My hope is in you, God. So, Lord, I come to your repentance. Thank you for your forgiveness, Daddy. And I just bow down to your Father and I ask you, Lord, to make a way. To make a way out of no way, God. I know you to be a trust, a good God, Lord. And I honor you with everything, Daddy. So I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you've heard my cry. So, Father, I come to you right now, Lord, and I just say, Lord, if you could just give me favor with this loan modification company and just open up a door, I would appreciate it. Oh, Lord, I thank you, God. But should you not open it, I'll still appreciate you, Lord. I just appreciate you because of your God and who you are. <sighs> Phones. Yes, yes, who? Yes, 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 this is she. Yes, yes. Re really? What? What? <gasps> oh, my God. went through. How much? How much? $700 less of my Oh, thank you, Jesus. I can Oh, God, thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, thank you. I just have to praise the Lord. Just send me the paperwork. I will sign it. I will sign it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed is thy name. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. God, you're always on time. Oh, you may not come when we want you to come, but you're always on time. Hello everyone, this is Dale Birdsong. The title of that skit was called Hope is Alive. And as you can see in the skit, the woman's husband left her after 25 years of marriage. Now people are doing that today. But as it says, you know, our hope cannot be in our husbands or our jobs or our wives or any of the material things of this world. Our hope has to be in Christ because those things aren't promised to us. But God said he would never leave us nor forsake us. And his word does not return back void. He will do what he said he would do. But it's up to us to go to him. Now God loves us and he loves us unconditionally. He doesn't hold grudges against us. He loves us the way no one else can. And he, he will clean us up from the inside out and make us whole for his glory. So I just want to leave you with this word today. Know where your hope is. Know that it is in God and never in the things of this world. And know that he would never leave you. Call him today and he would answer. What are you in need of today? Call him. He's waiting to hear from you. And all you have to do is say, hello, Daddy, I'm here, I need you. And believe me, he will answer. Thank you so much. God bless you, Jesus loves you, and have a wonderful week. This is Dale Birdsong 